Hi everyone, happy uh, Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. First of the month. We've got 2022 certified football, eight box, pick your team 14 coming at you. Big thanks to everyone here for making it happen. We had a nice little late night rally too on the filler where we gave away the remaining teams and certified. So thanks everyone for making it happen. Patrick, you got last spot mojo before we pulled those teams for the fillers. If you have double rooftops, that means you won a, won a spot within the pack break, the filler break itself, and then you ended up with that team, like the Steelers. So that was a nice little parlay, Brandon. All right, now you remember from the break we did last night, mark those with X's so you know that this is the second half of the same case. Thomas feeling something great in these boxes, something good in these boxes. You can feel it in his bones. Now Oliver, who won, uh, who won the Broncos in this, kind of looking for a Russell Wilson autograph, his oldest, dressed up as Russ for Halloween. Nice. Anyone else have a, have kids who dressed up as pro athletes? It's always a well, it's always a good posture. Right? Did did he do a did he do uh, Russell Wilson catchphrases? Today. He says, knock on the door, uh, standard trick or treat. Once you get some candy, let's ride. And then he go, and then he leaves. That'd be a good bit. Just high knees all over school. That's some good cardio there. There's Trey Lance to 275. Roger McCrary to 199. And Devontae Wyatt, 7 out of 20. Oh, oh, Oliver, I got more, I've got more of these for you too, by the way. All right. Devontae Wyatt, 7 out of 25. Packers, that'll be for Nick Martindale. And then we've got Romeo Dobbs, 146 out of 199. Piece of the jersey, another one for Nick. There's Desmond Ritter, nice. Desmond Ritter to 149. That is for Brandon and the ATL. I think he is the... Uh, he is the only quarterback drafted, still on an active roster, that has not made an appearance yet or a start yet. I think everyone else has. Calvin Austin the third, that's another one for Brandon. He got the Steelers as well. He's looking for Calvin Austin's teammate. The guy that will throw him the ball. There's Ikem Ekwonwu to 275. There's Devontae Adams to 75. Brutal game for my Raiders last week. And if they if they if they lose to Jacksonville, I don't know what's gonna happen. Someone's gonna have to get fired. It won't be Josh McDaniels. It'll be I don't know. I don't know who gets the sack. I mean, he's he's the offensive play caller, but maybe uh, maybe uh, an offensive coordinator will be a sacrificial lamb or something like that. I don't know. Maybe Patrick Graham, defensive coordinator, might be the. Although 
It's actually not that bad. I think maybe... Maybe I, uh, the argument has been floated that maybe the, uh, you know, boy genius, Josh McDaniels, and Patrick Graham's schemes are too complicated for a team that's not that talented, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, maybe some simplification needs, needs to be in effect. A lot of trades happen in the NFL. Trades don't, at least, at least this this many trades hasn't really uh, hasn't really happened at least in recent memory. What are some of the uh, what are some of the trades that jumped out at you, ladies and gentlemen? It's Hunter Renfro to three forty nine. Drake London to three ninety nine. I mean, the McCaffrey trade to the Niners look like that's an excellent move. Here's Trent McDuffie. Five out of ten for KC. That'll be for Jarrett. Picked up the Chiefs straight up. Chase Claypool. Right. Chase Claypool went to the Bears. That jumped out at me, too, mostly because it, I didn't know what the – Point was, I guess. There's Damian Pierce to 349. Like they strip away a lot of the, two of the their best pass rushers, but then they turn around and they're like, I guess we'll I guess weapons for Justin Fields. There's Fedarian Mathis. Justin Jefferson to 99. Vikings getting TJ Hawkinson, the rare uh, the rare in-division move. Lavellis Jones Jr. to 50, 19 out of 50. Nice color there. And ink for the Bears. That'll be for Emma with Chicago. Good trade for the Steelers, says Oliver. Oh, okay, I see, I see, yeah. We got some assets back. Deontay Johnson. Speaking of Chase Claypool, there he is. And there's Sky Moore. Reach for the sky. 300 out of 349. That is for Jared and Kansas City. Box two in the books. Thomas was thinking box three has the banger. Let's see. Did I see where Justin Fields is undefeated this year against his classmates? Through, you know, like, I mean, he must have a lot of classmates that are in the NFL. There's Deshaun Watson and Pierre Strong Jr. Three color patch and autograph. To 349, you can still get some nice color, even if it's out of 349. That'll be for Karen and the Patriots. Oh, his 
quarterback draft classmates? Is that what you're saying? There's Jordan Davis to 199. Mark Andrews to 50. And TJ Watt, two color patch, three out of 30 for Brandon and the Steelers. Andrew Booth Jr. to 99. Snoop Connor. Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, he's beating Lance Lawrence. There's Devin Duvernay. Nice mirror signatures. 40, 40 out of 75. I'm a man. I'm 40. It's Anthony with the Ravens. Uh, he they beat the Patriots, right? Didn't they beat the Pats? Mac Jones. There's Kenny Pickett, just a piece of the jersey. Thirty out of ninety-nine for Brandon and the Steelers. Camara to 199. And Elijah Mitchell, Dark Horses to 199. Yeah, Lance, Lawrence, and Mac. Huh. That's an interesting stat. But ultimately, the Bears are three and five. All right. Box four of eight. Now, let's play a little game of if you told me. If you told me that the Seahawks would be atop the NFC West, I'd say you were crazy. Five and three, three game winning streak. They even have a positive point differential, plus 11. Not expect that. If you told me that at this stage of the season that the Falcons would be in first place in the NFC South with a 4-4 four four record? I'd say you were crazy. I'd be like, get out of town. And if you told me that the Vikings would be 6-1 and one on top of the NFC North with a plus 29 point differential on a five-game winning streak, I'd say you were, you were nuts. But there they are. If you told me that the NFC East would feature an undefeated team, 7-0 Eagles, a 6-2 Cowboys without Dak Prescott for much of the season, and a 6-2 New York football Giants, I'd say get out of town. Ugh. Right. Well, it's a weird season, Brandon. There's Kamara to 149. There's Dak Prescott to 50. Kayvon Thibodeau. There's some Kenny Pickett. And Derek Stingley Jr. Texans to 75. Yeah, Oliver, what, what would you say? Oliver's like, if you told me that the Rams had the worst offense in the NFL, right, uh, you're bananas. You need to go to the loony bin. I would bet against that. I would bet you a steak dinner. 
that they would not be the worst offense in the NFL this stage of the season. Crazy. What's going on? This is this is why I don't play win totals. I told I was telling everybody the preseason is just like we're we're playing win total game. And I was like, well, I'll talk about it, but I I actually never play win total. It's Chris Olave at three forty nine. Mark with the Saints. It's just too. I mean, I, I guess the NFL they it, it is a lot of parity in the league and. Yeah, yeah, that's another good. If you told me that Russell Wilson and Tom Brady would be playing like garbage, I would say you were crazy. That, that you need to go into concussion protocol is what I would tell you. Nice Davis Mills for Jared and the Texans. There's Danny Gray, jersey and autograph, 69. Nice, out of 399 for the Niners, Victor. Ty Chandler to 399. Dallas Goddard to 349. How about all of Philip? Well, that's not as crazy. If you told me that that the Eagles would be playing really well this season, that the Phillies were, you know, went on, went on a World Series run, that's not too crazy. It's Kenneth Walker to 349. A little crazy. Not not that crazy. Not Rams being the worst offense in in the National Football League kind of crazy. Kenneth Walker going to the uh, Seahawks. Dwayne with the Seahawks. Or Stafford right there. Not Geno Smith turning back the clock. If there even was a clock that he couldn't even turn back to. But him leading the NFC West. Now that's crazy. Yeah, Geno Smith throwing darts. That's crazy. If you told me that at the beginning of the season... I would, I would, uh, David, I would laugh in your face as respectfully as possible. But I would say uh, you were crazy, respectfully. Geno Smith has the second best, has the best completion rating, completion percentage, 72.7 completion percentage. It's crazy. He already has 1,900 yards on the season. That's, well, that's what, top 10? Yardage right there. I mean, he's got, he's got, he's top five in touchdowns. Thirteen touchdowns. To how many in interceptions? Three. That's it. Wild. Wild. Right. If you told me that the Giants would be six and two. Halfway through this this full this half case rig, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the AFC. Is there anything crazy in the AFC? If you told if you told me, I guess that the Raiders would be two and five. I don't know. That, that probably would not surprise me. But if you told me that that the Raiders were going to get shut out by the Saints, and that and that uh, Devontae Adams would have like one catch. That, that would that that would be that would be crazy. I guess there's not too many. So yeah, I guess if you told me that Russell Wilson would be as bad as as he has been, I'd say you were nuts. Any surprise in the AFC South? Yeah, maybe Brandon saying if you told me. That Frank Wright would still be employed after a three, four, and one start at a minus twenty-eight point differential, and somehow still be employed. Brandon would say you're nuts. Uh, at, at AFC North, well, if you told me that the Bengals would look as not—I mean, they're four and four—but if you told me the Bengals would be four and four and look as sort of as sloppy as they've looked, I'd say you were kind of crazy. If you told me that Bailey Zappi would be a hobby darling for at least a few weeks, I'd say you are crazy. But he was. Might still be. Patriots. It's for Karen. And maybe the jury's still out. I think that might be a city divided. 
Is it a city divided? I'll just pretend it is. Yeah, the Jets, if you told me that the Jets would be five and three in second place in the AFC East, I'd say you were, you need to get, get into concussion protocol. Here's Ryan Shazier, seven out of eight. It's a nice one for Brandon and the Steelers. Nice mirror signatures. Now, the Jets though, they have a tough schedule coming up. They've been, they've been looking pretty good, but they've got hosting Buffalo at New England, hosting the Bears at Minnesota, at Buffalo. That's that five game stretch right there. If they finish that stretch three and two, we'll be having another session of If You Told Me five weeks from now, a month or so from now. We'll have another session of If You Told Me. Five weeks later, I'll be like, if you told me that the Jets are gonna go three and two in that five game stretch, I'd say get out of town. But what if they do? It's Jordan Poyer, Jared with Buffalo. Buffalo! We got Easy e There it is. Nice patch. 87 out of 249. That will be for the Dolphins. That's going to go to Anthony. Dolphins are kind of a surprise too. Although, maybe not a if you told me. Where does that three and two come from, from the for the Jets? I mean, you, you're thinking they got to beat. They should be. They, I mean, they should beat the Bears. They're hosting the Bears. And you got to win. You know, one. You got to split that Buffalo series. So they, if you, if they beat Buffalo, maybe they, no, maybe they'll lose to Buffalo. But they'll go to New England. They already lost to them, so they'll go to New England, beat them. Second time they'll beat the Bears, and then I guess you got. I mean, at Minnesota, at Buffalo, both of those are pretty difficult. But if they can win one of those, that's three and two right there. I'm sure a lot of Jets fans will take three and two in that set of five. It's gonna be a lot of work, though. I say their path is they're losing to to Buffalo. Another, well, they're hosting Buffalo. Maybe they lose to lose at Buffalo. Maybe they shock the world and they beat Buffalo. They'll go to New England. They'll beat New England. Watch, they lose to Chicago. And then, you know, maybe you beat Minnesota and you lose at Buffalo. It's three and two. That's not, that's not too, that's a little crazy, but. Bills at Jets, Buffalo's minus 13. Road favorites at minus 13. That's that's pretty wild. I think I'm actually if, if forced to choose, I would I don't know if this would be one of my picks, but forced to choose, I would take the I would take a flyer on the Jets plus 13. Does Claypool do anything with the Bears? Yeah, all we're saying no. What does everyone else think? I don't really think so. Not this year anyway. I've got a lot of, uh, we've just got too many different problems on that team. There's David Bell to 399. That'll be for the Browns. Patrick Davis, last ball mojo. Is that what Chris Berman's pick was? His Super Bowl pick was Bills Niners? That could happen. Man, what a, what a move getting Christian McCaffrey. There's Ray Guy, 17 out of 50. Old school Raider going to Emma and my Raiders. Oh, 
Oh, his pick is Bills Niners every year. There's Drew Locke to 99. Got a Kenny Pickett to 75. And Brees Hall, poor Brees Hall, three-color patch and autograph to 149. I think he's done for the year, right? He was on his way to Offensive Rookie of the Year, I feel like. Or was at least the front runner at the time. Jets, it's for Mark. Mark L and the Jets. Brandon, you'll get this cool-looking Kenny Pickett rookie card. There's Brock Purdy to $3.99. And there's... Uh, to Ryan Davis Price, 90 out of 349. I mean, McCaffrey just completely changes that team. I mean, that game against the Rams was, not, and not, you know, the Niners just have the Rams number in general. But combined with getting Christian McCaffrey, So then you have Garoppolo. Garoppolo went 21 for 25. That's pretty much where you want him to be. There's Najee Harris to 50. There's Sky Moore to 249. You want him throwing about 25, 20 to 25 times a game. That's it. That means you're, that means you're controlling the game with the run. exactly where you want him to be. And the Christian McCaffrey, 18 carries, 94 yards, and a touchdown. He even threw for a touchdown. And then eight receptions, nine targets, eight receptions, 55 yards, and a touchdown. Perfect, perfect outlet. You know, and then wait till uh, there's Jalen Peter. And wait, wait till Debo comes back. And then they've got two two players that that can. You could set up two running backs in that backfield. What are they gonna What are they gonna do? Are they gonna run it or are they gonna pass it? They can do both. Both of those guys can do both. And then they, you know, they, you still have Brandon Ayuk, still have George Kittle, still have guys like that. Then you know, defense is pretty solid. That's a good team right there. I think. Uh, let's see what the Niners' next games are. They are. Facing the Chargers in a primetime game. That looks like a Monday night game, Sunday night game, Monday night game. They're facing the Chargers. That should be a W. Arizona. These are all home games. Chargers, they got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six home games in a row? So they played a lot of road, road games to start this season. So they get some home cooking. Char hosting the Chargers, the Cardinals. The Saints, I mean, that's got to be three wins in a row right there. Dolphins will be a challenge. They're hosting the Dolphins. They're hosting the Buccaneers. We'll see where they're at in, in six weeks. At Seattle, which could end up being a pretty pivotal game. Then they're hosting Washington. They'll probably beat my Raiders. And then they're hosting Arizona. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, another five wins right there. That's at least nine. And then a couple others that are maybe coin flips, or maybe not as not as. I mean, could be a nice 10-11 win season right there. All right, we got right Tyrion Davis Price it is it is sort of a classic key and peel football name. That's a good sketch. One twenty out of three forty nine. Trey McBride, Jared, and the Cardinals. 
Yeah, that's a good if you told me, Rex. If you told me that Matt Ryan, what, six, seven weeks into the season, would be benched for the remainder of this season for Sam Ellinger? I would say, I would say, you know, beat it, pal. That's what I'd say. I'd say, get out of here. Get out. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time with that. That's stupid. But I'd be, I'd be wrong. Here's Trevor Lawrence. Jaguars, 11 out of 40, 149. Nicholas with the Jags. I mean, man, everyone thought Matt Ryan, all he needs is a little change of scenery. You know, he's still got something in the tank. You know, that Colts team is a good team. There's Derrick Henry. There's Kyler Murray to 149. There's Kevin Harris. Yeah, that is kind of wild. Everyone thought that they're, they're just that away. Ooh, nice award winners. On-card autograph, Justin Herbert. Darwin picked up the Chargers straight up. Nice, your 2020 Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nice hit. And a Malik Willis for Nestor in the Titans. He got his first, first start. Didn't have to do much last week, but got his first start. Got a W. Thanks to Derrick Henry. Yeah, a lot of people thought Colts were just a Matt Ryan away, but no. There's a Desmond Ritter relic, 93 out of 399, Brandon and the Falcons. Snoop Doggy Dog. Wow, 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 yippee, oh, yippee. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, oh. Snoop Connor for the Jaguars. Snoop Doggy Dog plays for a cat team. <laughs> if you told me that a cat team would draft a Snoop, I would say you were crazy. All right, last box. Well, Rex, here's all you need to know about the uh, about the Chase Claypool trade. I'm looking for what it's worth. It's, e it's ESPN, but for what it's worth, grades. The, the, I'm just reading the headline: grades for 19 NFL trades from the good (parentheses Chubb to Miami) to the bad (Claypool to Chicago). <laughs> so that's that's what you need to know about that. Geno Smith. Man. All right. Oh, there, speaking of the Bears, there's Vellis Jones Jr., three-color patch and autograph, 94 out of 349. And we'll do a little recap after this, too. It's a bit of a longer break. Roger McCrary did 325. Got gold team Jonathan Taylor to 199. Justin Fields to 99. I mean, I I just don't That was a little bit of a surprise. Like 
you know, it, it seemed like they were, the Bears were like, oh, we're going to try to... We're going to try to add a weapon for, for Justin Fields, but at the same time, they traded away two great pass rushers. And yeah, they gave the Steelers a second round pick for Chase Claypool. Man, that's... There's Jamison Williams, 62 out of 149. Okay, it's in. That's for Shea and the Lions. We got Evan Neal to 75. Kate Otten to 275. And there's Fred Taylor. Mirror signatures to 15. Jaguars. It's going to be for Nicholas S. One of those classic boy, those knees, if his body didn't betray him. Could have put together a really nice career. And Kenneth Walker, it's 249. I think might be our final hit. That's for the Seahawks. That's going to go to Dwayne. It's Devontae Adams to 349. I'll give you another if you told me, Raiders edition, before I do the recap. If you told me that Mac Hollins would have more receptions and yards than Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro combined at this stage of the season, first of all, I, I would have been like, well, that means the Raiders are probably only one or two wins in, which is true. <laughs> and I'd say you were crazy. Come on. I, I, I mean, I know there's been some injuries for Darren Waller and on a Renfro concussion, but still. Come on. All right. Thanks, everybody, for uh, doing Certified 14 with me. Nice Justin Herbert. Good late night rally. And um, thanks for playing, uh, playing If You Told Me with me. Seven out of eight, Ryan Chazier. If You Told Me. That's always a fun game to play every once in a while. I mean, it could be it could be a regular regular bit in Jaspie's breaks. But thanks for playing. If you told me with me, thanks for doing Certified 14 with me. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye bye.